It is Larry Barker's longest running investigation. Over the past 15 years, Larry has told us about the nightmare neighbor. We've seen how one person can defy the law, ruin property values, and single handedly destroy the character of an entire neighborhood. Tonight, Larry tells us about the nightmare neighbor final chapter. In 25 years, I've never seen a property that's, that's worse than this one. It's unbelievable. It's totally unbelievable. It's, it's, it's shameful. He is the worst kind of citizen. Uh, he is what would be anyone's nightmare for a neighbor. Meet the nightmare neighbor. When it comes to zoning violations, John Gallegos is public enemy number one hands down. The worst of the worst, if you will, as it relates to this particular piece of property. Drive along Mesilla Street in Albuquerque's La Mesa neighborhood and you'll notice it right away. It's home sweet home for John Gallegos and it functions as his personal garbage dump. For decades, Gallegos has stockpiled a houseful of rubble and debris. For almost 30 years, he has defied the law and thumbed his nose at his neighbors, city inspectors, and the courts. We first caught up with the nightmare neighbor 15 years ago. There's two cars parked in the driveway. Let's see if anybody's home. Now the front door has got to be around here someplace. Hello? I don't think anybody's home. Gallegos and his mother, Diane, have been hauled into court so many times, prosecutors stopped counting. We were at the Messiah property in 2005 when inspectors said, enough is enough. Because of persistent health and safety dangers, teams of police, zoning inspectors, and animal control officers got a search warrant to enter the property. And what they discovered is, well, you got to see it. To believe it. Officers found the entire building from floor to ceiling stuffed with trash. This is the living room. Every room in the house, every square foot is stuffed with discarded appliances, 55 gallon drums, garbage heaped upon garbage. In another room, officers found three pigs, yes, pigs, wallowing in a pile of hay and animal waste. John and Diane Gallegos are compulsive hoarders. They cram their property with truckloads of junk and refuse to clean it up. And it's not only the Messiah house. In 2015, we showed you Tara Northeast, a quiet residential street with well-groomed homes. But there was an exception. Scattered throughout the sprawling property are a half dozen derelict cars, worn out tires, barbecue grills, neglected landscaping, and a jumbled mess of trash and debris. Who lived here? Well, you guessed it, John and Diane Gallegos. They have since moved out, and the property is no longer trashed. And the mother-son zoning infractions don't stop at the city limits. In 2006, they owned a parcel of rolling grassland in Torrance County. It, too, violated the county's zoning regs. But these eight acres are unlike any you've seen outside a landfill. Welcome to John and Diane's private dump. A partial inventory includes seven railroad cars, more than 100 autos, trucks, and vans, 19 semi-tractor trailer rigs, hundreds of 55-gallon drums, cinder blocks, tires and wires, blocks and barrels, aluminum, concrete, toilets, and even a kitchen sink or two. It's not something John Gallegos wants to talk about. You have this huge junkyard in this gorgeous piece of property, and you just stand there and stare. I said, any questions you may want to ask, you can ask my attorney. Not asking you. Oh, you can ask my attorney. In 2015, Gallegos was hauled to court once again. Over the past 20 years, Diane and John Gallegos have been slapped with countless criminal complaints, inspections, violation notices, investigations, court orders, jail time, and fines. However, the city has been unable to get mother and son to stop compulsive hoarding 
and comply with the law. So what does the nightmare neighbor have to say? Well, we caught up with him 15 years ago. I, I just wanted to say no comment, but I saved a ton on my car insurance. Good day, fellas. But, you know, John, why do you live this way? Why do you do this to your neighbors? We spoke with Assistant City Attorney John Du Bois in 2006. He is a zoning enforcement official's worst nightmare. He is a major offender. He is a repeat offender. And he is an offender uh, that uses every advantage to play the system against effective zoning enforcement. Code enforcement inspectors have been trying to bring this property into compliance since 1994. The water was shut off eight years ago for non-payment. There's no gas or electricity in the house. And today, neighbors say it appears John Gallegos is living in an abandoned car on the property. How many times would you say your inspectors have been at that property? Uh, probably in the thousands. Brennan Williams is Albuquerque's planning director. It's a, probably the worst property in the city, or it is the worst property in the city. Because of those conditions, uh, the Code Enforcement Division asked City Council to review the matter and make a determination that the property be condemned because it was a public nuisance. City councilors granted the request. Soon, the junk cars will be towed. The tons of debris and rubbish will be hauled to the landfill, and then 318 Messia will be torn down. The owner filed an appeal of council's determination, but that appeal was not upheld. It was denied, uh, and consequently, we're now uh, gearing up to demolish the structure. When we go to visit uh, 318 Messia in the next couple months, what will we see? You'll see a dirt lot. The cleanup and demolition of this property Will this be a taxpayer expense? It will not. The work that will be performed on the property obviously comes with a cost, but those costs result in a lien that is filed against the property. And so after 15 years, we come to an end of our tale. Goodbye, nightmare neighbor. Do you think that Mr. Gallegos gets it? I don't think so. What is so special about this property that's always on the news uh, every six months? Larry Barker, KRQE, News 13. More photos and videos of what the property has looked like over the years, head to alwaysonkrqe.com.